Greetings from Auto Universe. If you want to know everything about Toyota Fortuner 2024, stay tuned till the end and don't forget to subscribe. Recently, Toyota has launched the Fortuner-based Toyota Hilux in Europe. No, it isn't an all-new SUV, but gets a major mechanical upgrade. What's that? Well, Toyota has launched the Hilux with a new mild hybrid technology. Now, Toyota has confirmed that they will introduce the same technology with the upcoming 2024 Toyota Fortuner as well. Toyota South Africa has already confirmed that both Fortuner and Hilux will receive the mild hybrid technology. And as we can see, the Hilux has been equipped with mild hybrid tech and will soon be offered with the Fortuner as well. Why Toyota Fortuner? So as we all know, Toyota Hilux and Toyota Fortuner share the same platform, engine options and transmission options. Also, Toyota will try to offer the new Fortuner with enhanced performance and fuel efficiency. In fact, even the upcoming Toyota Prado will share the same powertrain, including the same mild hybrid system. Toyota has equipped the mild hybrid system on the same 2.8-liter engine with 200 Nyon BRP and 500 Numeter torque for the Hilux. However, the story with the new Fortuner will be different. Just a few months back, Toyota launched the new Fortuner with more power and more features in Thailand. Talking about the power figures of the new Fortuner, it gets the same 2.8-liter diesel engine, which now produces 224 bhp and 550 nimeters of peak torque. In India, we will likely receive the more powerful Fortuner and Toyota will likely add their mild hybrid technology to this Fortuner. However, a new gen Fortuner is on cards and we can see that happening very soon. Not only the exterior changes, but we are also going to see many big changes inside the new generation Fortuner. On the inside, the cabin will now get a new dashboard layout with a central console and leather seats with premium upholstery. Along with this, it will also get a newly designed control, soft touch in many places and vents for the rear passengers. The new generation Fortuner is going to be a better option for long haul. Among the features, the new Fortuner will get a large touchscreen infotainment system with a digital instrument cluster and Apple CarPlay connectivity with wireless Android Auto. Other highlights include wireless mobile charging, height adjustable driver's seat with ventilated seats and welcome seat function, ambient lighting, dual zone climate control. Safety features now include seven airbags as standard and eight airbags in the top model. Other highlights include safety features like electronic stability control, tire pressure monitoring system, hill assist, hill descent control, traction control, ABS with EBD, 360 degree camera, reverse parking camera with sensors, and ISOFIX, child seat anchors included, going to. Also, it is expected that it can be operated with advanced technology. Pre-collision system, 2 or PCS, is designed to help drivers mitigate or avoid frontal collisions by detecting a vehicle, pedestrian or bicyclist and providing an audio and or visual forward collision warning and brake assist under certain circumstances. Enhanced intersection support with improved detection range capability, including in certain circumstances, oncoming vehicles in more than one lane while turning in vehicles approaching from a lateral direction, along with a vehicle a bicyclist or a pedestrian now capable of detecting a motorcyclist in certain circumstances. Lane Departure Alert 3 or LDA is designed to detect inadvertent lane departure at speeds above 30 miles per hour and issue an audio and visual warning. If the driver does not take corrective action, the system will provide gentle corrective steering to help keep the vehicle in the lane. Lane Departure Alert now provides enhanced lane recognition to detect certain three-dimensional objects used to define the lane, like certain types of guardrails. Dynamic Radar Cruise Control Dynamic Radar Cruise Control, 4 or DRCC, is an adaptive cruise control system that uses vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle distance control to help maintain a preset distance from the vehicle ahead of the driver at cruising speeds set above 20 miles per hour. Update from 3 to 4 cruise distance settings. Enhanced vehicle detection that enables the system to help provide smoother, more natural speed adjustments. Lane Tracing Assist 
Lane Tracing Assist Way or LTA is designed to help the driver keep the vehicle centered in its lane. LTA functions when DRCC is activated and detects lane markings, as well as the path of the vehicle ahead, and is designed to actively provide steering inputs that help keep the vehicle centered in its lane. Capable of steering the vehicle within its lane to offset the vehicle's driving path to help provide more space between objects being passed in an adjacent lane. Emergency Driving Stop System EDSS 6 on vehicles equipped with a driver monitor camera is designed to also confirm the driver's eyes are attentive to the road ahead. If the system determines the driver is not attentive and the driver does not respond to prompts to resume control of the vehicle, it can bring the vehicle to a stop under certain conditions. Automatic High Beams Automatic High Beams 8 or AHB are designed to help drivers see more clearly at night while also reducing glare for surrounding drivers. We thank all subscribers and viewers of our channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Good luck to everyone. See you soon. Please rate with your likes and comments.